I declare a war of attrition against feminists and all of its constituency. Now I'm not here to convince the governments of the West to start treating men fairly. Not because I don't think men should be treated as equals, but I just think it's a waste of time in general. Now if MRAs can get a few laws here or there changed, that's great, but I think what men must fundamentally understand first is that we are, in fact, begging the same misandric man-hating governments that put these laws into place to stop oppressing men. So as long as men's rights uh, continues to seek compromise within the system, ruled by misandrists, they'll continue to further compromise themselves. In order for Western governments to give true equality to both men and women, they'll have to take away the myriad of extra rights that women have in every modern feminized nation worldwide. In my honest opinion, this will not happen. And men know this, I think, and that's why we're making the mistake of asking for extra rights to counter the extra rights that women have already. Case in point, abortion. Many of us claim that women have the right to opt out of pregnancy and consequently parenthood via abortion, and that men should also have these reproductive rights. The blatantly obvious rebuttal to that statement is that women do not have the right to abortion. A woman's rights and when those rights start to infringe on the rights of others. Abortion infringes on the rights of another human being. Therefore, when men say that they want the same reproductive rights that women have, they inadvertently give credence to a right that no human being is entitled to, such as abortion. If anything, men should be the only ones with this so-called reproductive right, because men make the argument that they should be able to opt out of the parenthood's financial responsibilities only, as opposed to women who think that they should be allowed to terminate another human life. Now this man's reproductive right would not infringe on the rights of a child because it would not have had deprived the child of its life. Now some will say my argument seeks to absolve men of the financial responsibility of fathering children. I say that women are given the option of dropping their newborn infants off at hospitals with impunity. And in fact, uh, Man Woman Myth, an excellent channel here on YouTube, actually documents a woman who did exactly that, being reunited with her newborn. Reunited. So who exactly has been absolved? But once again, this is just another example of how men are convincing themselves that a lack of outrage towards the pseudo-rights and privileges given to women equates to the legitimacy of those pseudo-rights that they have. And this is the problem. We as men understand fully that the institutions we're asking for equality are fundamentally broken and morally bankrupt. Yet we still for some reason believe that the same system responsible for VAWA, the child support racket, affirmative action, Roe v. Wade, the war against men and boys in the school systems, the sending of men and not women to war where they're used as cannon fodder, the man session, and the overall criminalization of manhood in general, we for some reason believe that we can extract equality from this steaming pile of concentrated shit. What I see the men's rights movement doing is simply taking their respective places at the begging line where government, aka master, gets to tell us what rights they might think about bestowing upon us under the express condition that we concede to the legitimacy of the extra rights women already have. What we're refusing to come to terms with is that men have always, until this day, enforced the system that protects women. And the only way men will get any actual equality is if men start, stop participating in the system in mass numbers. If this doesn't happen, there will be no equality. There must be a massive refusal of participation from men for this to end. Bottom line. We don't need men's studies programs. We need to simply stop giving any fuel to the machine. Don't sign up for the army or the police force. No matter how much you quote unquote love your country. The army depends on men for the protection of the country, the same countries that allow women to enslave men. Why would you fight to protect a country that oppresses your entire gender? Police are expected to enforce anti-male domestic violence laws. Do not participate. If you're an employer, don't hire women. Women already have affirmative action helping them to get jobs. If women were such great employees, why do we need laws that force us to hire them? The laws of the free market dictate that, the, that affirmative action for women isn't even needed because the best, most competent employees will get the job and keep the job. So don't hire women. Hire a competent, capable man. Don't teach a woman. Don't help her learn. Women brag about their degrees and how the fact that more women are in universities than men these days as some kind of proof that women are just as capable or better than men. They neglect to mention that women get much more aid than men in the form of women-only grants. And all I've ever seen at school is a bunch of women asking men to explain shit to them. 
whereas the men actually sit down and learn it for themselves. Don't take part in the education of women. You're not going to get any pussy because you helped her with a math problem. She'll go home and tell her boyfriend how she used you, and they'll have a good laugh of it right before he bangs the crap out of her. Let them earn their women's studies degrees and focus on earning your degree in the sciences. Don't ever take part in the raising of single mothers, children, ever. I'm going to repeat that. Don't ever take part in the raising of a single mother's children, ever. Now, I don't align myself with those that blame these children for the whoredom of their mothers. The children of single mothers are not bastards. They aren't crotch droppings. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Children don't ask to be born to whores. And I want to distance myself from the growing contingent of MRIs who seem to enjoy transcribing the wrongdoings of single mothers onto their progeny. But like I said before, never, ever help a single mother raise her children. Never get legally married either. Ever. Never, ever, under no circumstances. Don't do it. Period. Refuse to participate in man-to-woman transfer of wealth scams such as anniversaries, Valentine's Day, and all other instances where men give their wealth to women and get absolutely nothing in return. Now the advice I've just given of never venturing into the spiked tiger pit that is legal marriage shouldn't take away from another equally important point. Even if you enter into some kind of religious unofficial marriage with a woman in which no actual legal documents exist, do not, do not, do not spend two months of your hard-earned salary to give her a ring. I mean, who are these bitches that they think they deserve diamonds offered up to them by men on bent knees? In antiquity, kings used to make peasants get on their knees before accepting their gifts and tributes. Worshippers would get on their knees before burning their offerings to their gods. Do these women believe themselves to be the kings or the gods over men? Fuck that. Stand up like a man. Women don't need men to bow to them like they're royalty. End this nonsense. Start making other men feel comfortable in a climate of not tolerating female bullshit and join the war of inactivity. No participation in the system by men equates to the eventual collapse of the system that depends on men for its survival. Enough men that refuse to fight in wars for, marry, protect, educate, employ, and enrich women means less and less trust is fortifying the system that oppresses men and emboldens women. The more and more we swim in the ether of the system looking for equality, the more we'll become like the feminists we're so disgusted by. Feminists need to be checked, not bargained with. Universities shouldn't be the authority on men's studies. Everyday men should be. Fathers should be. Elderly men who have a lifetime of manhood behind them should be. Not a school system run by feminists. That's all I really gotta say for now. Um, also... Uh, I know that I promised uh, chemistry videos, and I have made a chemistry video channel because I, uh, you know, I was thinking I would rather keep it separate from um, my men's rights videos. So I'll attach a link to my channel uh, for those interested in the chemistry videos that I do post. So everybody, good night. God bless.